Hello, and welcome to another Claritas Fireside Chat. My name is Monique Ruiz, and I'm a marketing director here at Claritas. I'm here today to bring you a conversation around Claritas's identity graph, our identity graph 2.0, as we're calling it. This is also our second fireside chat in a mini series we've done on improvements we've made to some of our solutions recently. So if you've missed our attribution 3.0 conversation with Claritas VP of product R&D, Phil Keith, check out the description box below for a link to watch that. In just a moment, I'll be joined virtually by Luciana Lazaro, or Lou, as we call her. She's the VP of product leadership here at Claritas, and she's one of our resident identity graph experts. Lou is going to talk to us about identity resolution as a whole, from the ongoing challenges that plague marketers to some new ones we've not talked about before. We'll also discuss improvements we've made to our own identity graph, plus why you should care. Whether you're a current client leveraging our identity graph intelligence, a marketer who's currently evaluating industry providers and are looking for tips on what questions you should ask, or if you need a better understanding of what's most important in an identity graph, or even if you're already working with an identity graph provider and want to make sure they're evolving as the industry evolves, we will have plenty of takeaways for you over the next 15 minutes or so. So let's jump right in. Hi, Lou. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well, Monique. How about you? I'm good. Thank you. Welcome to your first uh, Claritas Fireside Chat. Yeah, I'm excited. My pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Great. So I've got a handful of questions for you today, but let's start by you giving us a brief overview of your role here at Claritas in your areas of expertise. Sure. So I've been um, in the industry for about 18 years in every single role uh, that you can imagine uh, from client service, sales, marketing, product development. Then um, I started uh, with program management, uh, being responsible about on the data diligence of bringing all the acquire uh, companies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really focus on the acquire companies that. Um, owned an identity graph capability and integrating afterwards um, with the Claritas Consumer Insights, which then it led me to get very excited to get involved with the identity graph development. And I've been um, uh, working with the, you know, with the wonderful team to get uh, uh, to this new generation of um, Claritas Identity Graph 2.0 and uh, excited to um, share the improvements here today. Nice. So like you said, identity graph and identity resolution, those are on everyone's minds because research is showing that consumers want personalization when it comes to targeted advertising. And then obviously companies want to maximize their, their ad spend so that it's basically only reaching those that are most likely to engage with them or take an action of some sort. So with all the data that exists out there, why is identity resolution still something that's presenting a challenging concept to master for marketers? Well, I think the concept of the identity graph is actually easy to master, right? So mm -hmm. it pretty much, it provides a unified view of the consumer linking the online activity and offline activity of that consumer. Right. Uh, the identity graph help marketers identify the consumers engaging with, for example, their brand's website or a mobile application or going into the store or calling the call center and um, assigning that to a household. So then uh, marketers can link to, you know, thousands of consumer insights that Claritas has provided for the past four decades to help them with targeting and measurement. Um, the biggest challenge, though, I think, is definitely finding the right provider of, um, of an identity graph, yeah. right? You want to make sure that you are using a provider that is very focused on accuracy of linking those consumer online identifiers to offline uh, data accurately, and at the same time, maintaining that uh, scale so you can reach, you know, a, a, all the potential consumers for your brand. Um, and most importantly, 
uh, focus on uh, privacy compliant capabilities. So all the consumer PII data can be, you know, passed between business uh, for marketing purposes in a very uh, privacy compliant way and, and right. secured. Yeah. So I heard you mention accuracy as a challenge when it comes to leveraging the intelligence of an identity graph. What are the implications of not having accurate data and how can we as an industry try to solve this issue? So if you don't have an accurate data, you can't reach your audience, right? The right audience, mm -hmm. which then is going to lead you to, you know, more campaigns, um, larger audience and a waste of ad spend, mm -hmm. right? The main goal for the brands is to um, increase revenue. If you don't see that increase, if you don't see that ROI from the campaigns, you're going to keep trying to reach it until you get to the right audience, right? And and then which leads to um, the, you know, biggest problem in the industry now, which is you know, over uh, um, ad, you know, ad frequency yeah. um, uh, serving to, to consumers and turning off consumers from your brand and, you know, possibly um, using data that you, you know, from consumers that do not want to be reached or they do not want to be reached in that way. So you have to be very careful. It, it absolutely, it impacts, uh, like I said, waste of ad spend um, turning off consumers from your brand and, um, um, and privacy, you know, compliance, um, uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Um, we have for the past 18 months, um, worked really hard and focus on, on those, you know, three topics, accuracy, scale, and privacy compliant capabilities. Uh, we have done a number of, um, of uh, updates to our graph methodology, uh, creating what we're calling an accuracy methodology uh, model for our mm -hmm. graph and okay. also updating our offline data, which is the email to name and posto uh, with a new verification and, and, and hygiene process uh, that we worked with the credit bureaus and, and household file compilers. Uh, to make sure that, you know, that connection uh, between uh, uh, the consumer online identifiers like IP address, um, mobile web ID, and, and hashed email is connected, uh, is connecting accurately to a household, uh, which uh, then leads us uh, to the next topic, uh, which is scale, right? At the same time that we did a lot of cleanup in our uh, person master file and offline data. We um, we wanted to make sure that we can you know continue to invest in increasing uh, the um, the reach uh, to to for our clients consumers. So we are absolutely committed uh, not just you know for Graph uh, 2.0 but also you know upcoming development in licensing more data. Um, online activity data and offline to continue increasing um, scale uh, mm -hmm. for our clients in our graph and graph solutions. Mm -hmm. And finally, privacy compliant capabilities. That is a must. This is uh, the, the most talked uh, subject in all uh, conferences this year and, uh, you know, in the in, in, in online meetings uh, uh, with, uh, with everyone from industry. Uh, we have integrated um, uh, the universal ID from Trade Desk UID 2.0 that will help us um, exchange data with our clients uh, in the most um, you know privacy compliant way, making sure that consumer PII data is protected. Okay, yeah, that was a uh, a lot of information. So viewers, feel free to rewind and listen a few more times to kind of really retain what Lou just said because. If you do fall into that bucket that I mentioned at the top of this chat where you're either working with another provider for your identity graph needs or you're kind of currently evaluating multiple providers to determine who's the best fit your, for your business, those are definitely going to be a few things that you want to investigate more with them. So that said, Lou, there was something you mentioned that I want you to expand upon a little bit more. 
Can you explain what increasing reach and accuracy of cross device um, and online to offline, those identity linkages, what does that mean in layman's terms and why is it important to a marketer? It is very simple, right? It's it's gaining the deepest, most granular view of, of a household and consumers uh, included in that household. You want to be able to um, uh, to fully understand um, what is the uh, demographic and um, segmentation um, and uh, lifestyle behavior, um, purchase behavior of, of a household and these consumers living in a household. And in order to do that, right, data needs to be collected uh, using privacy compliant methods and uh, unify into an actionable intelligence. It is connecting the real world data and insights to individuals and households with accuracy. The increased level of data allows Claritas to know more about more households and, and US consumers and help clients do, you know, do the same. Right. And I heard you mention uh, in a previous response that we've invested in improving our own identity graph. So how do investments like these sort of pay off for marketers and what effect does it have on how effective their strategies are? From So from our perspective, Monique, and how we leverage our graph technology, the benefit spans across all key areas of the marketing spectrum, uh, from identifying the right audience to delivering campaigns where and when it matters most to consumers and then accurately measuring the true impact of those campaigns um, that, you know, have on driving engagement and conversion for our clients. Right. So let's take a look a little bit of, you know, the, 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 the solutions that we have from identifying to, to measurement. Uh, for example, anonymous website visitor, we have, um, you know, like I said, invested tremendously in accuracy and, and scale. And we are seeing a huge shift of, uh, uh, precision um, when we identify consumers on our client's website. Um, before we were able to um, resolve a bigger percentage at the neighborhood level, and now um, we have you know, more than 85% being resolved at the um, household level. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge winning there for our clients, right? And then once you, you, you resolve the identity for, um, for your brand's website and you know who's coming into your website, now you want to be able to link that to your CRM system, right? Mm -hmm. You want to be able to unify all that, in, the, all that information um, into your CRM system. You want to know that Monique went to your website and actually Monique also um, shows up in your CRM system and uh, with a few other identifiers, but you don't have all the identifiers, meaning you have her name and address, but you did not know her IP address or her hashed email or her mobile device to kind of watch where she's going and the different channels that she is uh, engaging with your brand. So we are able to, you know, accurately and with scale match to your, um, to your consumer file um, with all the digital activity of, um, of you know, your customers or right. future, future customers. Then we move on into onboarding. Now that you have, you know, your CRM up to date and you want to build um, audiences to target them, uh, we are seeing, you know, substantial increase again in accuracy and in scale of, uh, of audiences that you can onboard over 150 platforms that we are connected to and channel partners for campaign um, execution and across email, social display, and direct mail. So we, you, once you have your, you have your audience and you, and, and you uh, executed your campaigns, now it doesn't stop there, right? You want to be able to measure and see what it's working, what is not working, and, and, and what you need to optimize. So with measurement, we are seeing a huge increase on, on performance on, um, you know, the accurate 
picture of a campaign performance. So then, you know, it can it can indicate to you which channel uh, is contributing or not, you know, to those conversions and incremental lifts. So as you can see, Claritize has invested in a number of improvements in the identity graph, impacting across all graph solutions uh, from identifying to measurement. Mm -hmm. So just so I'm clear, though, how exactly did we change our graph? You kind of spoke about the benefits to the end marketer, but how did we get there in the first place? So great question, Monique. Um, our, fo our first focus, right, once we acquired the identity graphs was to integrate those two technologies coming from um, Acquire Web and Barometric and linking, integrating with the the consumer insights from Claritas and Geoscape, which was another acquired uh, company uh, in 2018. Um, then with all the changes in the marketplace happening, we knew we, we needed to keep going, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and we needed to um, actually evolve all the methodology uh, that was coming from, you know, from Acquire Web and Barometric, truly integrate uh, the identity graph and create, a, you know, Claritas own methodology. Mm -hmm. So we moved from a device centric graph to what I call a multi-node, multi-identifier type of graph, which means uh, we elevated other identifiers uh, to be able to resolve um, the identity of a consumer, elevating, for example, IP address and hashed email and UID 2.0. As we know, with all the privacy changes, not just on a legislation side, but also on the manufacturer side, uh, due to you know announcements from Apple and and Google, yeah. we can really rely on third-party cookie and uh, mobile ad ID forever. Mm -hmm. So we have to really um, expand and, um, you know, and use all types of consumer identifiers that we can to continue giving that granular view for, for our marketers of, mm -hmm. of consumers and, and households, yeah. right? So we built our own proprietary me uh, methodology and um, another important point on that is that we, needed something to validate uh, that new methodology, right? On uh, not just the accuracy, but also on, on the scale and the match rate. So we used um, one of our um, uh, services, uh, uh, direct research uh, uh, from Claritas and um, build a true set that we were able that we are able to ev after every single graph build mm -hmm. uh, validate uh, the accuracy of, of, of the graph and the match rate. And um, in addition, once we created this new uh, proprietary methodology and we applied the model into the graph, we pretty much refreshed all the um, all the assignments, right? All the uh, consumer identifier assignments, okay. uh, which we see a lot of recency in our graph. Uh, you know, for example, IP addresses um, in the past six months, we see about 90% in our graph, which is great. And, and, and we see improvement in every single node and, and edge and, and recency. And, uh, and to finalize, um, we also added confidence scores, right? We, we have clients coming to us and saying, I want to reach, um, you know, the, the, the consumers that you are extremely confident that uh, they are going to, you know, convert to my brand or, right. um, or they want scale. So depending on that, we can use the confidence scores to provide uh, that to clients. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All right, Lou, you've given us a ton of great information. And I think this is going to be a really good resource for our viewers, whatever their identity graph needs are. So thank you for joining me and sharing your expertise. Thank you, Monique. <laughs> so as a reminder, if you missed our Attribution 3.0 fireside chat, check out that description box below for a link to that, so, just so you're all caught up with how we're continually evolving our solutions so you can meet better prospects, market more precisely, and improve your ROI. If you want to know more about the Claritas Identity Graph 2.0, 
I encourage you to check out our website, www.claritas.com. We have an entire section dedicated solely to our graph. Plus, we have an insights tab with tons of complimentary resources that span the gamut from blogs to reports to podcasts and more. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time with another Fireside Chat. Bye now.